She was surrendered. They just wrote unwanted on her form. That was the only word. <laughs> I'm Jamie, and this is Yogi's Story for Geo Beats. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. I worked at the Atlanta Humane Society. At the time, I was an adoptions counselor. I was walking through the admissions department, and that was where I saw her. <laughs> she was surrendered. Man and woman came in. We had a form that people could fill out. One of the sections on there was reason for surrender. Most people will put moving or pet child, whatever it may be. They just wrote unwanted on hers. <laughs> she was conquered down looking like scared little girl. I don't know what it was. I just saw her and I was like, okay, this is my dog. She was very shy, not super easy to housebreak. She was a backyard dog that they just didn't want anymore. I don't think she really knew how to be indoors at all. She wouldn't even eat out of a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. The first few days, it was me going outside with her, putting all of her kibble on the ground and slowly introducing the bowl. We spent a lot of time at my parents' house with their dog and she had to learn how to be a dog. It took a lot of months for her to be comfortable. Oh, she flipped. Even before she was comfortable enough to roll over on her back completely. She would always just get a little panicky and stiff. <laughs> She's always been just very low key. Her hair's blowing in the wind. It looks so cute. From the neck down, she looks like a white golden retriever. From the head up, she's got like the pit bull head and boxer eyes. They have a mind of their own, honestly. <laughs> her little eyes. She's never been one to steal your food. She'll just rest her head near it and wait and see if it gets offered up. You wanna go for walkies? Are you on your walkies? She's got these little spots on her ears, her little granola spots, and she's so soft. She's one of the softest dogs. She's very quirky, a ball of anxiety, but we've worked through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. She really enjoys to be just like on the couch or in bed. She loves new people, she expects them all to be there for her. She's a huge sniffer. She wants to stop and smell everything. Her in the backyard is just nose down all around the place. We're probably a little too codependent on each other, honestly. It's very special. What are you doing? She's been with me through a lot of like the worst things that have happened to me. We both can have a little bit too much anxiety at times, but we are both very good at grounding each other. Yogi, what are you barking at? She's not a super snuggly dog, but every time I'm upset or not having a good day, she'll get like right up next to me or she'll curl up in a ball next to me. I love her unconditionally. Whatever happens with her, she'll always be mine. I will love her for the rest of my life.